Hello, and welcome to another video tutorial from Oklahoma City University Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can edit the expiration date for a Microsoft Team meeting recording that you have either in OneDrive or in Microsoft Stream. So let's go ahead and open up a new tab here, and we're going to start by going to office.com. Make sure that you log in using your Oklahoma City University Microsoft 365 credentials. So there's a couple of ways you can pull up OneDrive. You can just click in the search bar and you can click OneDrive. You can type OneDrive and click it. You can also click the waffle icon over here and click OneDrive. Then we're going to go down to My Files, scroll to Recordings, open that folder, and then I am going to do this one right here. <coughs> you can click the uh, ellipsis here and then click Details. You can also right click on that file name and click Details. And you can see the expiration date right here. Um, you can come in here and click and click remove expiration. Now that may just say 120 days. Um, I had to physically set the date, so um, your screen might show 120 days, but I'm just going to come up here and click remove expiration. And that's all there is to it. You don't have to click save, but you can just click the little X to get out of that option. And it has changed the expiration date. Now let's say you want to do this from Microsoft Stream again from office.com uh, in the search bar you can come up here for example and just type in stream and click the app that pops up there or in a new window you can type stream.office.com and it'll show up that way as well so here you see the uh, screenshot of the recording uh, i'm going to go ahead and scroll down here to the listing of the recording and you can see it right here i'm going to go ahead and click the title to open it up from the stream and here's the stream video itself. Uh, now, down here, it currently says no expiration because I forgot to change it back. So same process for how to do the video expiration. There you go. So that would say expires in 120 days. You simply just click it, that box, and then click remove expiration. And that's all there is to it. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning. Thank you.